Now, let's talk about measuring instruments. We have plenty of instruments used in laboratory, especially in chemistry. So here, we will talk about some common and basic measuring instruments. To measure length, we usually use ruler for measuring tape. And for small scale, we have caliper. And for more um, exact value, we have now digital caliper used. So meter is defined as a distance light travels in a vacuum in one over 299 million 792,458 of a second. Mass. It is a measure of the resistance of an object to a change in its state, in its state of motion. Mass is measured by the force necessary to give an object a certain acceleration. On Earth, we use the force that gravity exerts on an object to measure its mass. We call this force the object's weight. In the picture, we can see how we use uh, or how we measure mass in the laboratory. It is called an electronic analytical balance. So we must know the distinction between mass and weight. So mass depends on the composition of a substance. It is constant at any situation or any environment. While weight depends on the gravity on the gravitational force. Meaning your weight in earth is different on moon. And also Weight is a force. To measure volume, we use graduated cylinder and volumetric flask. For an exact value, we use, and more accuracy, we use buffet or burret. A pipette is calibrated to deliver a fixed volume of liquid. Different volumes can be delivered accurately by a rep, perhaps. To positive or negative, 0 0.01 milliliter. Temperature. It is the factor that determines the direction of heat flow. When two objects at a different temperature, are placed in contact with one another, heat flows from the one at a higher temperature to the one at a lower temperature. We use the thermometer to measure temp we use thermometer to measure temperature.